Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I'm finally back at my desk. I'm trying to get back into the study mindset because school is approaching us. I thought I'd show you guys a little behind the scenes on how I get ready for school, school materials, what my desk setup is, and some little productivity habits that I get back into. Also, I'm wearing makeup because like New Year knew me. I'm just joking. Imagine I was actually like that. Anyways, let's just get right into it. So this is the state of my desk. It's a bit of a mess. I repotted my Monstera Deliciosa or like a Swiss cheese plant. I just repotted him. Basically what I want to say is that you want to have a clean work surface because obviously how are you going to do work if it's cluttered? And just going into a new semester with a cluttered mindset is not good because you won't be able to focus. Your mind's going to be wandering. here and then find this one a new home in my room so this is my old planner i had all my old stuff in this planner it's so booked wow and yeah so i thought i'd show you guys a little bit of what's in my pencil case it's pretty much the bare minimum that's all I thought I'd show you. These are my main school supplies. So I just have a 0.38 Muji pen, another backup, this is a full one. And then I just have four colors because I'm a science student if you don't know. So there's a lot of diagrams. I love color coding things. It helps me also organize my subjects in my calendar. So I love having a lot of colors. And these two are in 0.5 and these two are in 0.38. Why? I'm not sure. I love 0.38, that's my preferred pen thickness and then I also have a 0.38 mechanical pencil and it's lead and then I just have this little dual ended highlighter that I actually really like for bio notes and then I just have three notebooks this one is for math red is the color of math if you don't know that something is wrong and I need to tell you that math is red and then bio or science whatever is usually green a lot of people say chemistry is blue i prefer chemistry in gray just because it's a lot more calculation based than it was before so i like having the gray to match like the pen but yeah these are my three main subjects and then for my electives, I usually like to write them on line paper and then I put them in a binder, but, but I always sort them by unit using these like little like clear plastic like slicky sheets. That's what I call them. I don't actually know what they're supposed to be called, but yeah, I just got to pack up like a hundred of these. They're really good for organizing, especially whenever you have to write tests on separate piece of paper and upload them to the cloud. So that's, I like to write them all out and then just organize them by unit in these. This is what I did for one of my math tests. I just have all my scrap paper, my answers that I uploaded in this one sheet. And I, so I did this for all my midterms and all my exams. They're basically just like the hard copy of the exam so I can keep track of them. So another thing that I did midway through my first semester was discover Chrome extensions for my school's online learning platform. So Waterloo's online learning platform is Learn and there are two Chrome extensions. One is made by an older engineering student. It's called Learn Dark Light. And basically you get to customize your home screen. So you don't have to customize your home screen to be in a dark mode. There's, there's a bunch of other options. So then you'll like learning more, I guess, mainly just for aesthetic purposes. And then another thing that I literally swear by is video speed controllers. So it's not specific to learn videos, it's for all videos. I like to watch a lot of my lectures on a faster speed, so I say like on my toes and I'm like actually paying attention. And I also started using it on YouTube so then I can get through videos faster. So I recommend that you guys do your research on Chrome extensions that can help improve your online learning experience. Another tip that I have for you guys that I strongly, strongly recommend that you probably already know is to get a planner. So, and what I love about it, it has a month long calendar so you can fill in the squares accordingly. And then you also have side notes out here and you can just see the overview of your entire month. I love this. I love being able to see what I have in a week, in two weeks, in three weeks. It just helps me so much because I always know what's coming next. When everything's color coded, it makes me the most comfortable, makes me feel the most organized. So I thought I'd show you guys my old calendar here. 
So this is my first month of university. So you can see that I have all these little side notes for myself. I had so many new platforms I need to learn about. And I explained what they were for because I literally had no idea. And then I also just wrote little side notes from the syllabi. And then I also made little acronyms like BioCCA stood for core concept assignment. So basically I filled in all the assignments. You guys can just literally look at this and see how I color coded things. So I wrote tests. I wrote when like assignments start over here, bio lab office hours lectures and then just like other little assignments that i had to do i'll teach you guys more about where to fill your things in just showing you the overall like what it looks like can't you just see like oh everything red is math i have i have two math things this week i have three math things this week i have three math things this week again and then for chemistry you can just see that every single week on the same day i have a chemistry assignment due i did this for a reason to make my own like timetable schedule just because since everything's online and at your own pace you definitely want to set up a somewhat strict schedule to adhere to so you don't fall behind i just have packages that i was tracking and then november was a super busy month you can see all the things filled in and so yeah that is my planner i highly recommend that you guys color code things if you don't already but yeah in my next video i'll take you guys with me when i make my new calendar and i'll just show you guys how i set up my schedule for a new semester in that video so guys that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching if you made it this far my hair is literally a mess but anyways make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video and so you don't miss out on my future content i try and post every sunday and wednesday so with that all being said i'll see you guys in the next one.